Hello everybody, Clint Seely here. Um, in this short tutorial, uh, just a continuation of the Edit Toolbox. And today, I'm in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the Fill Holes feature. Now you can see over here in the Edit Toolbox, it's grayed out right now, but that's because I don't have any kind of an object here that I can apply the Fill Holes feature to. So let's go over to the Art Canvas and we'll add an object. Now this could be any shape um, that you choose. You know, you could draw any shape here or use any kind of a vector graphic and convert that to embroidery as long as it has holes in it. If there are no holes inside the shape, obviously you will not be able to use the fill holes feature. So instead of drawing out a square or circle and putting a lot of holes in it, we can just easily use one of the digitizing element libraries, okay? For this particular one, I'm going to use um, Ocean, and I'm just going to scroll down, and we're going to insert this little starfish right here, the one at the very bottom right there. Um, I'm going to insert it at 8 inches. I'm going to left click, and we'll go ahead and insert the starfish. If you've seen, if you've already installed my digitizing elements, you'll know exactly where this is and how to insert that. If not, you can just insert any other shape that is going to have some holes in it. You know, you see all of these little shapes right here are just holes inside this object. So let's go ahead and digitize this guy. So I'll left click on him and then go up here and left click convert. And here we go. This is really where the tutorial starts. I'll just go ahead and make my element, my little starfish, a little bit bigger. I find when we digitize these elements to embroidery and you're going to add effects like outlines, fill holes, and you're going to be doing things inside the edit toolbox here, it's better to start off with them large, add all of your effects, get the, get the um, shape or the design looking exactly the way that you want it, and then at the end we'll go ahead and size these things down. Okay, it's just really easier to do it that way. Now if you'll remember in previous tutorials, I went over the add holes and the remove holes. Okay, just to kind of re recap, remove holes is not the same as fill holes. If I left click remove holes, it just gets rid of all the holes, fills everything in. <laughs> you see the confusion, it fills everything in. It just makes one solid shape by filling all of the holes, by removing the holes. I'm going to click undo. That's not what we're going to do in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to fill the holes. It's real simple. <laughs> if we click on our object and it's highlighted and I left click fill holes, watch what happens to all of these holes. I left click, underlap new objects. Okay, I'm just going to go with the default here. And now I'm going to zoom in. Now you can see all of those holes have been filled but they haven't been removed and that's the big difference. The difference between removing holes and filling holes is when you use the fill hole feature, it fills the holes with new objects. So you can see as you, if you, as you click on these objects, it has now filled the holes with new objects. So what we could do is we could, if you go over to the color film, you'll see it fills them with all blue or whatever the background color is but say we want to create a separate colorway here um, I could just then select what color I want over here what color I want these elements to be these new elements that were created with the fill holes like say I want them to be pink I've made pink the active color and then you can easily left click the paint can and then hover over these new and left click hover over left click left click these new elements that were created via the fill holes feature okay so you can really make your designs pop and come to life by filling the holes you'll notice that a lot of my digitizing elements that I come out with there'll be a lot of shapes that have a lot of holes and that's so you can easily convert it to embroidery and then just simply use the fill hole feature to add those elements right back in. 
that's really all there is to the fill holes feature. It's a very simple one, very simple feature, not to be confused with the remove holes. Remember, the remove holes just flattens the entire object out by filling everything in and not creating new elements. The fill holes feature, this one here, fills everything in by adding new elements. Okay? So I hope that shed a little light on the fill holes feature. This is Clint Seeley. Thank you for watching.